and wonderful. So it's called, it's 11.21 and I'm building a house for you. The snow settles on a slumbering city, soap bubble stars scattered across the skies. In the quiet of the town I grew up in, I'm building a house. For those days, you might need one. For now, you belong everywhere you go. You've yet to see somewhere you're not welcome. Must it always stay like that? But even if it doesn't, if you meet gumstuck locks and darkened windows, if your heart ever races and your eyes squint to understand, I want you to not even know that my house has a door, and I want you to barge right in. I'll make sure there are mugs you know to reach for, hot chocolate swells filled with fairy tales you'll know by heart, book pages for you to organise however you see fit, by day, by colour, by subspecies of dragon protagonist or by the second letter of the fifth sentence. It'll be a windowsill with a mountain of pillows for you to climb, to nestle in, to point at pedestrians and wander about the world. Chairs to curl up in, tall enough that you can dangle your legs and feel that moment of breathlessness as you jump down, wondering whether the floor will be there to welcome you. It always will be. I want there to be adventures in the blue of your toothpaste and songs in every bristle of your hairbrush. And bedtime, sto bedtime stories for you to tell me all about strawberry-covered sorcery and soaring above the clouds. I'm building a house for cheesy pasta fortresses, red crayon all over the backs of the sofa, new worlds mapped out under the dining room table, and that blanket with your name on it. I'm building a house where you can hang the moons. A house for you to barge right in. Thank you. <laughs>